how to open AVIF images on Windows 11. As you can see, on my desktop, I have a file called Thumbnail. This file is an AVIF file. The icon for this file is blank white, which means Windows can't open this file as it doesn't recognize the file type extension and doesn't have a default app associated with it. Let's try associating this file with Windows 11's photo app. All I'm going to do is right click on the file, left click on show more options. Once done, left click on properties. In your files properties, you'll be in the general tab. Here you'll be able to see general information about your file. So as you can see, the type of file is an AVIF file or .AVIF, and it currently opens up with an unknown application. For you, where it says opens with, instead of unknown application, it most likely says pick an application. So to the right hand side of where it says pick an application or unknown application, you should see a button which says change. Left click on change. You'll then be greeted with a window which says select a default app for AVIF files. The app that we're looking for is called Photos. For me, it's the featured app. For you, you might need to find it from this list of apps. And if you can't find it from this list of apps, you can find it from one of these two bottom options here. Once you've located the Photos app, left click on it to select it and then left click on set default. Once done, left click on apply and OK. Now, if we go to open up this AVIF file by double clicking on it, the Photos app will open. However, the image will not be displayed. At the very bottom of the Photos app, you can see it says the AV1 video extension is required to display this file. Download and install it now. So that's exactly what we need to do. We need to download the AV1 video extension and install it. To do this, just simply left click on download and install it now. This piece of hyperlink text at the very bottom. Once done, you'll be greeted with a small window which says, did you mean to switch applications? Photos is trying to open up Microsoft Store. You have the option to click on no or yes, click on yes. The Microsoft Store application will then open. Once your Microsoft Store has opened, you'll automatically be taken to the AV1 video extension. If for some reason you cannot open up the Photos app and click on the hyperlink text to download and install this extension, all you'll need to do is simply click on your Windows Star icon and search or open up the Microsoft Store. And then once you're here at the very top in this search box here, just simply type AV1 video extension and then hit enter to search and then simply select the AV video one extension app. You'll then be at the same point as we are now. So what exactly does this AV1 video extension do? So you can see there's a description here which says Play AV1 videos in your favorite video app for your Windows 10 device and Windows 11. This extension helps video apps installed on Windows 10 to play videos that have been encoded using the AV1 video coding standard developed by the Alliance for Open Media. On the left hand side, there's a button that says get. Left click on this button. Once you've done that, the AV1 video extension will begin downloading and installing. Once the AV video one extension has been downloaded and installed, you can close out of the Microsoft Store and close out of the Photos app to be taken back to your desktop. Now double click to open your AVIF image. And as you can see, the Photos app now fully displays our AVIF image. And if you're wondering how you can display the thumbnail preview for your AVIF image file instead of the Photos app default icon, then all you'll need to do is simply restart your computer. You'll then be able to see the thumbnail preview going forward for all your AVIF image files. And that pretty much concludes the video on how to open AVIF images on Windows 11. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so